Hello and welcome to our third webinar in the series on the basics. This is Keith Thompson, Customer Service Manager over here at ASG Viz. We are the creators of V-Ray for Rhino and V-Ray for SketchUp and we also do in-house visualization services. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about distributed rendering, one of the most popular features. And this, uh, this webinar itself is actually one of our most requested ones so far. So without too much to do, we're actually going to go ahead and just get started and skip the shameless plug. Now, the way that distributed rendering typically works is you want to do a partial install on your slave machines first. So whichever computers aren't really going to be running V-Ray, but are going to be lending power to it. You want to go to that one first, and we're going to do an installation just like we were going to put on the whole software, but slightly different. So we want to accept the terms of the license agreement. And this time around, we're going to do a custom installation. And for this computer, since I'm going to be using it only to help with the rendering process, I only need to have the DR spawner checked as far as the installation goes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next and begin the installation. So while we're waiting for that to finish up there, there is one thing that we do want to take note of, and that's the computer's name. I think I've shown you how to do this before, but if you go right here, you can get your computer's name under the system properties just by right-clicking on My Computer and going to Properties and then Computer Name. So we do want to load the DR spawner at startup, by the way. So the installation is complete, and I'm going to take note of my computer name here. And I'm done the first part of the installation. That's all that this computer needs in order to be able to help out in the rendering process, that one little part of the installation. So let's take a moment, and we're going to switch over to our main computer, the one that's going to be using V-Ray. Okay, so here we are on the other computer and not the same one with a different background. And what we're going to do is open up V-Ray. So let's power up SketchUp, since I'm using SketchUp for this demonstration. And setting up distributed rendering is actually really easy. All you have to do is go into your V-Ray settings. There's two ways to do that. I typically go up through here into the options. And then under System, put a check here where it says Distributed Rendering. And under Settings, we're going to enter in the server that we want to add. Now, I already have one here, so let me remove it. Now, uh, and remember I told you to take note of your computer name earlier. Go ahead and punch that in right here. You can do that for multiple computers. I actually have myself added twice here, which adding yourself doesn't do anything. But adding different computers can make a huge difference on your render time. We're going to hit OK, and we're done. That's actually all that's involved in the process of setting up distributed rendering. So, I hope that was pretty helpful. Typically, the kind of things that I get emails about when a problem does occur with distributed rendering are issues with the firewalls. A lot of users who have two firewalls, including the Windows firewall, or a separate firewall and that. There's a lot of network traffic involved with distributed rendering. It sends out the, the buckets, as it were, across the network to be reassembled in different places and then sends them back and to a firewall that can look like a virus. So you want to make sure that you have it accepted out. And you want to also make sure that you're running the DR spawner during the startup for all of the machines involved, including the host machine, like we are for this example. So I hope everybody caught that. If you have any questions, feel free to email, email me at support at ASGBiz.com. And also, I'm looking for more things to do on training videos. So if you have suggestions or anything you want to get more information about, please send those to me directly at kthompson at ASGBiz.com. And that's T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. And that wraps up another quick training video. I hope it was helpful. And I welcome your feedback.